is it going everybody hope you're having a wonderful day as always even though the weather looks like this I'm having a wonderful day <laughs> just got off work on my way home and I figured we'd have another discussion about something I have gotten a lot of messages for about since I did the first video and I'll put the first video up there so that you know exactly what I'm talking about as always so let's get this on the road yeah I hope you can see me you know I know it's getting dark it's six o'clock the time is fast changing it's coming up weekend I think is the weekend that we set the time back so I won't be able to do these types of things in the afternoon anymore because it'll be very dark when I start getting off work after today or after this weekend but maybe I can do it in the morning times but here it goes like I said I'll post a video up top so you can see it but what happened a, a while back is several youtubers got busted for street racing yes they got busted for street racing two people and one of them is specifically who we're going to talk about the first one and this is all i'm going to say you can go back and watch that video to find out all the details growls garage he got busted for street racing and come and through that we learned he was something totally different than what he said he was or what he portrayed himself to be so his channel is no longer there so don't even try to search for it it's not there but you can go back and watch that video and you can find out what's going on or do a search for it and you on youtube and you can find out that way now the second channel which is what this video is really about is a channel called family cruising what's up youtube this is paul at the family cruising network paul pal good old paul pal and family cruising oh I, like I said, I wasn't going to do this video, but I've been asked by so many people to give an update about it. So that's the reason I'm doing it. So if you don't feel like watching it because you already know the outcomes or whatever, feel free to, you know, not watch. But for those that do watch, I really do appreciate it. But he got busted for street racing. He also was charged with one count of, what was it, child endangerment or danger to the life and health of a child or something like that. It's some crazy charge and it had like 15 street racing charges which is just absolutely astronomical his bail was like 250 something thousand dollars which is way the heck up there i mean even oj didn't have that kind of bond you know and i'm not gonna lie i used to watch family cruising when they first when he first started and he happened to come along well he had his channel for a while but he really got big because he hit the timing just right he had uh, he had bought and purchased a Dodge Hellcat, purple, very nice car, and he he used it for what he bought it for. He thoroughly enjoyed this thing. But when he started getting bigger and more recognized, he started doing careless things, like he posted that he would do a burnout in front of a police station for a hundred dollars. what and come on dude you know you don't do stuff like that and then just carelessly flying down the highways doing pulls with everybody and in one video he had he actually had a cop behind him but i don't think it was his video i think it was on another another uh channel i think it was on growls if i'm not mistaken but regardless he was doing crazy things like that and you know i tried talking to him and mentioning it and he just blew me off so I was like, well, I'm done with that. So I quit watching until the crap hit the fan. Now, like I said, I'll just give you a quick synopsis of the whole thing. Like I said, it's best to watch the other videos so you know everything that's going on. But he he was doing videos. He was, you know, he's growing and leaps and bounds. He's doing really good for himself, you know. I'm, pr I'm glad for him and everything. But the problem is he had an issue with his Hellcat. He took it in. He blew the motor by doing something stupid. He was out there doing donuts in the snow, hitting the rev limiter and stuff. And these cars ain't built for that. You know, there's no load on the car when it's sitting there spinning tires in the snow. So he's just, it, he blew, basically blew his engine. He took it to have another one put in at a place called Liberty Dodge, I think the name of it was, in Illinois. That's where Paul is, he's in Illinois. He took it in, had it worked on, got it back, immediately he said he started complaining and smelling gas so you know he had he the way he gets his cars tuned 
he sits there and he drives it for a while and, and gets data log. In other words, it's, he's got a recorder that plugs into the car and it records all the information, you know, fuel curves and all that stuff from the O2 sensors and all, you know, just all around, just, it records everything. And then he sends it into the tuner and then they mail him back a tune based on the information that they got. Well, the only problem with that is you're sitting here driving a car with a strong sense of gas, you know, smell, and it ended up catching on fire. And he did some videos about it, and I guess Liberty Dodge didn't like what he had to say, or at least this is the rumor, they didn't like what he had to say. So everybody feels that Liberty Dodge is the one that turned him in to the authorities. They started watching the videos, they saw what he was doing in his videos, and the authorities did not like that. So lo and behold, he gets arrested on 15, I think it's 15, charges of street racing. And like I said, one charge of endangering the life and health of a child or something along that line. It was just an all around mess. But he was also doing something that was part of the latest greatest craze at the time and that was fake Uber drives. You know, people would have these exotic cars or muscle cars and stuff and supposedly give Ubers rides in them, Unsuspe unsuspecting Uber riders rides in these high performance cars and these supercars and get reaction videos. Well, I knew that was a crock of BS when I saw it because you could tell how the people was reacting in Paul's car. And yep, he admitted those were fake. Those were set up. I can't stand somebody that lies. Oh, I just cannot stand it. I hate that worse than clickbaiters. It's the worst. But with all that said, you know, it's done, it's over with. So Paul's sitting here, he's done lost his job. And I'm trying to sit closer to the window so you can see me. He's done lost his job as a Microsoft analyst. He's sitting here having to get up all this money to get out of jail. And a lot of people jumped on the bandwagon trying to blame, I mean, his supporters and subscribers spammed the review page of Liberty Dodge. I mean, just shut it down. It made these people, and then we don't even know really if it's the people that did it. But it basically just shut their business down. It made them look like total buttholes, you know? And I don't like I don't like the fact that they did that because we do not know for a hundred percent certain if they were the ones that did it. But that's what happened, and you had a, a bunch of other YouTubers on everything, getting on YouTube and everything, saying how unfair it is, how unjust it is, Paul set up, you know, there's no way it should be that high of a bail, you know, it's, it's all a scam, it's all crooked, you name it, they put it on YouTube. I mean, they basically tried to ruin this company. And like I said, nobody even really knows if it was that company. And I just think that's totally unfair, but it, you know, it's done, it's over with. He's sitting in jail and he finally gets out. I don't know how he got the money. I don't know. Well, I know how they got out. And that's going to be the reason for the video, basically. Here's what happened. Now, when I tell you how he got out and everything, if you made it this far in the video, please keep watching because I want you to listen to the whole thing. And I would really like feedback on what you would have done if it was you. I kind of know what I would do, but because it wasn't me and I don't have to cross that bridge, you know, I, I can't say 100%. But here we go. On February 22nd, 2019, Paul Powell has all of his charges dropped except for three street racing. That's right, all of them except for three. How did this miraculously happen? Is it because of lack of evidence? No. Is it because they didn't have anything on him at all? No. Is it because the police felt guilty for him because he has a family and children? You know they don't do that. The sole reason that Paul Powell was released from jail and all those charges was dropped is because Paul, beginning the sun, well, what's left of the sun, there we go. Paul. agreed 
to testify against the other people charged and there's like a total of four or five of them so that would have left three or four left to still have to go to court but he had to agree to testify against them if they went to trial so now the local law enforcement and judicial system said we know we got you we got paul in our back pocket so if you don't say you did this we're gonna use him i smell a rat would i have done it i'm not gonna say 100 percent i would have or 100 percent i wouldn't have you know that's a tough situation i'm not there but for them to sit there and put that kind of leverage on him you know he had to be sweating bullets I mean, in a way, you have to feel sorry for the guy because he was he was in deep crap. He was fixing to lose his house, his cars, his family, everything. Gone because of doing stupid stuff. So I can't say 100% whether I do this or I do that. I strongly believe that I would have forced the hand and they would have had to prove that I did something wrong. Just because I got YouTube videos, you know, doesn't mean that I necessarily did that or necessarily was doing what they are accusing me of. So, I personally think I would have, they would have just had to, I would have forced their hand, in other words. They'd have to prove that on me. So now he's out. He's back out there and everything. And you would think that, you know, with all this said and done, he's done with YouTube. And in fact, in the news releases and everything, he swore off YouTube. He said he was done with it. He'd never do it again. But hold on, not quite so fast. I seen him in another channel's video and I'll post, I'll put the vi section in the video, the pertinent section of the video in now. And you can see exactly what he said and see who it is. The channel's name is actually RT Life. But he's actually on there saying that, well here, I'll just let you see it. Is there any plans to uh, come back or make any videos or anything along those lines? Yeah, so I've been thinking about this. One, I can't come back to my channel the way it was, right? I can't be doing any of the fun things that happened in Mexico and all that other things. Trying to make a channel that's entertaining with not doing that stuff is rather difficult. So we're just going to end the channel at some point it's going to transition it's going to do something i haven't figured all of that out yet uh but i am going to be doing things on youtube when i have time what i'm thinking about doing is guest starring or shooting videos with other youtubers on their channels yep straight from the horse's mouth he's planning on another youtube com uh, comeback like he said, in the, you have to go to RT Life's channel to watch the whole video. But he, he says in that video that he's planning to come back. That of course he can't be doing the things that he was doing. You know, it's a car channel. So he can't be getting out there having fun like he was in his old car. You know, he just can't do it and everything. Which he can't, you know. He got busted. He's in, you know, they're going to be watching him. To see what the heck he's doing. But, he said that he would probably start doing collaborations on other channels or special guest appearances on other channels stuff like that while he figures out what route what avenue is actually going to work for him which i mean is good i'm glad you know in a way i i just seriously hope he learned his lesson did he who knows i guess we'll have to wait and find out but I just wanted to put this out there for everybody that's been asking, you know, like I said, I, I have been getting a lot of questions wanting an update on this situation because I told the story and I just left it alone. So I've been getting a lot of questions, you know, well, what's the latest? What's Paul doing now? Is he out of jail? Yada, yada. Yes, he's out of jail. He's making a, he's wanting to make or planning to make a comeback. And that's pretty much where it stands right now. I don't know if he's gotten him a job. I don't know if they let him come back to work there. I don't know any of that stuff. You know, only Paul knows that. But you're not going to be able to look up his channel either. The channel's still there. Although he says eventually he's going to have to delete it. He's going to have to get rid of it. But the channel's still there. But you're not going to see any videos on it. Because, you know, due to court and co um, all the... Uh, charges against him and everything he couldn't just go take it down because he was already busted i mean they already had watched the videos anyway to see what he was doing so
So he couldn't just up and take it down. That would be tampering with evidence. So that's where we stand right now. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. I'm sorry about the hours, the lighting, but there's nothing I can do about it. It's that time of year. And let me know what you would have done. Would you have, would you basically snitch on your friends to get out of trouble? Would you make them prove it in court? What would you do? I'm interested in hearing your thoughts. No right or wrong. This is not a pointing a finger, you know, you know you do this, you know you do that. It's not about that. I just want to hear your opinion on what you would do. So until next time, guys, get out there and enjoy your cars. If you're not doing it the right way, at least try not to get caught, please. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Thank God for being here and God bless you for coming. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Getting come back, you only have your come back. Getting come back, you only have your come back.